So, uh, how's everything going? Fine. I mean, with, uh, with Sonny, what happened after I left? Nothing. So he doesn't know? No, of course not. You should go. Yeah, I, uh, <clears throat> I didn't know you were going to be down here. <laughs> yeah, well, this was kind of my spot almost two decades ago. <laughs> <laughs> you still like chocolate gelato? Why do you remember that? I don't remember everything. Probably uh, stay in the past. So. Mm -hmm. How long are you staying in town? Uh, I don't know. It's Jason's idea for me to come here, so. Right. You know, I have uh, some current threats. So something's never changed, right? Excuse me. You should probably get going. It's yeah. not a real good idea to be out in the open like this. Yeah, I agree. First good day I've had in a uh, in a long time. That's uh, that's a lot of pressure to put on the shoulders of a bowl of gelato. I don't know. This gelato's pretty all time. <laughs> <laughs> well, it was uh, it was my pleasure, and uh, you know, any any time. Thanks. Oh, you're gonna you're gonna you're going. <laughs> I, I am supposed to be out in the hall. I know, but do you, would you, know. you just mind talking to me until I fall asleep? You just gotta be patient. Carly, stay calm. Brenda's gonna be out of here in no time. Okay? Yeah, and, and if I don't do something, she might be taking Jax with her. This will work, Jason. Wait, when have, when have any of your crazy plans ever worked? This is gonna be a disaster. Not plans are disasters. In fact, I have one going on right now that's going to turn out perfectly. What'd you do? I set up dinner for Claire and Sonny and made them each think that the other made the plans. Now, why, why would you do that? Because if Sonny and Claire are together, Claire will be gunning after Michael. The only problem is, if Sonny's occupied, Brenda's going to hone on to Jax like a heat-seeking missile. Hi. Sorry to interrupt. <clears throat> Listen, I just, you know, so you know, I have no intention of trying to make you feel insecure about your marriage. I'll talk to you later. You know, Carly, have you ever thought about the fact that you may feel insecure about your husband because you haven't been the most loyal wife? You want to talk to me about loyalty when you've done nothing but play Jackson and Sonny off each other for years? They may not see you for who you really are, but I sure as the hell do. You're a desperate, insecure slut who will sleep with anyone to get attention. Hell, who needs love when your face is all over every billboard right. in this city? So why are you still so jealous? I'm not jealous, okay? Because your life has no substance. It revolves around what you're wearing and who you're with. You're nothing but a pretty face. Yeah, well, that depends on the day. Hey, it's interesting to me to see that you are still loud and obnoxious. Oh, you know, actually, you did manage to get your hooks into Jason during a time that he was too vulnerable to know any better. So I guess that is your one claim to fame, isn't it, Carly? Jason can count on me, just like I can count on him. But who counts on Brenda? No one. You're useless. You're for decoration only. You're about as shallow as a mud puddle. And that is why you're so easy to leave. Something's never change, huh? Hey, do me a favor and just stay away from Carly. You don't want to piss her off. Hi. 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 She's great. Um, the jackal has scoured the local farm fair to procure the freshest of fruits for your favorite blended beverages. Uh, listen, you know, uh, that's so sweet of you. Thank you. Uh, you don't have to do that. Uh, Jason thinks that uh, I may be taking advantage of you. And... Yeah, I'm of the opinion that Stone Cold has been unduly harsh since your arrival, and I would like to offer my, my deepest apologies and assurances that I, I in no way feel 
put upon. Well, that is very sweet, but in any case, I actually really res uh, you won't tell Jason I said this, right? I, uh, I, I really respect him and wouldn't ever want to do anything to hurt him. So, uh, I, I kind of have a problem. <laughs> I sometimes end up hurting the people that I love the most. Well, uh, anyone with, uh, with a brain would have said no to this dare. What are you talking about? Always take a dare. Wow, that's a, that's a really passionate response. Yes. Ms. Barrett, you must, you must really like, like dares. I take all dares. They're fun. <laughs> wow. Oh, they were fun right up until the time I, uh, I crash landed. Y you crash landed? W were you hurt? Yeah, we, let me, I'll tell it in the order that it actually happened. Oh, I'm, like so, I'm, so, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I was so riveted by your story, I just uh, got overly excited. Clearly, I could tell. I well, anyway, so my, my cousin, Pete, he dared me to get on this bike with no brakes and fly down the Third Street Hill. And I actually was thinking about my future and wanting to play baseball. And I was like, well, I don't actually want to do that. But then this guy, Tommy Locatelli, he was a total jerk. He started going off about how all fucking Aries are, are cowards. It's not my family honor oh, was yeah, on the line, that's not right? Cool. Yeah. So I got on the bike and I flew down that hill, man. I was flying. You were scared. No, hell no. I loved it. I was laughing. Oh, cause you, yo, you don't get scared? Barrett, you have a visitor? Oh, you know what, Max? I don't feel like seeing anyone right now. Oh, she says it's important. Who, who is it? Lulu Spencer. Oh. Yeah. Hi. I'm so sorry to bother you. Do you have a minute? Yes, I do. So I stayed on the bike right to the bottom of the hill, but I, I can't stop. So uh, I'm about to hit like the traffic on McKinley Avenue. Right, and then you're gonna—is this the part where you're gonna crash? Yeah, this, this, okay, this is the part where. I'm well, not good, crash. but well, no, okay, it yeah. kind of hurt. But <laughs> so I tried—I saw this vacant lot, and I tried to jump the curb like a superstar, and I missed it, and I flew through the air, but this time without the bike, I landed in all this gravel. My my left side of my body, from my shoulder down to my knee, was completely shredded up, bleeding oh, everywhere. I get yeah. home. My mother's freaking out. She thinks something crazy just happened to me. Poor mom. Poor mom. I'm the one who's bleeding, getting screamed at by her because she's all mad because I'm bleeding all over the couch. I know, but she I was so relieved that you for... were okay. Trust me. Anyway, that was a that was a long time ago. Mm, thank God you didn't die riding your bike down the hill. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Great. Because otherwise, you know. Who would talk me to sleep? <laughs>